Hello, I'm Iris Mar de Oliveira, and in the last three weeks I explained the cognitive model and the conceptualization diagram. In TBCT, the conceptualization diagram has three levels and three phases. In the first level, we have the situation, the automatic thought, the emotion, the behavior, and physiological responses. And, in fact, they complete kind of a cir circuit I call circuit one. It happens that the behaviors that are situational, they may become habitual. And in this case, we call this behavior safety behavior. And the safety behavior is maintained by the underlying assumption. The safety behavior maintained by the underlying assumption has the goal of protecting the individual from the activation of the core belief or at least dysfunctional negative core beliefs. But in fact, it backfires. What we have is the dysfunctional negative core beliefs becoming more active or more easily activated. This is phase one when the disorder is very active or in the beginning of the treatment. What we want is to use all the techniques we can in helping him or her activate the positive and functional core belief. It is possible only theoretically because the goal here is completely deactivating the negative dysfunctional core belief and completely activating the positive functional core belief. As I said, this is a uh, theoretical goal because by the end of the therapy, what we want is kind of a balance between uh, the activation of functional positive core beliefs and functional negative core beliefs. Let's just give an example. Uh, let's imagine that I decided to walk during the night in the city and I know that this city is dangerous and has criminals, but I decided to go anyway alone and in this case probably I will have something inside myself telling me you should not do this because you are vulnerable and you are weak. And in this case, it is very important that I avoid going out alone during the night in an area of the city that I know that is um, dangerous. Okay, so this is how the trial-based cognitive therapy conceptualization diagram is shown graphically. But indeed, uh, all the elements of the back-end conventional CBT is here. And the distinctive feature of TBCT is just the way it is introduced. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and if you can, please share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have not subscribed yet, please do it because you can be notified as soon as a new video is released. See you next week.